hidden along the edge of Donna Lake in Truckee, California. Anytime in the past 15 years, you've noticed that turbocharged, all-wheel drive automobiles parked along the side of the road aren't exactly an uncommon sight. The U.S. saddle, marked as Donna Summit on I-80, sits at an elevation of 7,239 feet and the lake itself at 5,936. To the south, Echo Summit on Highway 50 reaches 7,382 feet, while the Carson Pass on State Route 88 hits 8,574. Even Reno, just down the mountain, and the former home of Porsche's North American arm, lies at a 4,505-foot elevation, not a whole lot lower than Denver. Up there, forced induction is a must to maintain performance in the thin air. Porsche says its targa models appeal to alpine types, while beach dwellers tend to opt for the wide-open cabriolets. Despite its origin as an odd compromise in the 1960s, then tiny Porsche was worried that regulations in the United States could kill convertibles, the Targa saw great success in the 1970s and 1980s. When the 993 Bode, Stuttgart did away with the simple, removable top panel and replaced it with a powered sliding glass roof that rested over the rear window, which carried on through the 997 cars. The 997s began the tradition of the AWD-only car.